We are on. Good morning. And it's a good morning because we are going to invoke peace. This week's theme is peace. I can't find anything better than waking up for this. So we're going to uh, start with a prayer. I'm going to see if I can share. There we go. So I have a few Shanti Mantra that I thought I would introduce it for you uh, every morning so we can feel the vibration of these mantras. These are Vedic, ancient Vedic chants. And um, um, this one, is really dear to me because of the Sanskrit um, pronunciation. It's a lot of ha, 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 so it comes really deep from the guts. So um, even though if you don't understand much of Sanskrit, when you hear it, it does resonate and vibrate as we are vibration, we are energy. So we can connect to these chants. And I have it now, I share it with you on the screen. So whenever you enter uh, in, so you can see and you can chant with me. We're going to do it three times today. So sit tall, relax your shoulders. Connect to your breath, the Ujjayi sound. softly in the back of your palate. And bringing your right hand, left hand, gently touching a very gentle pressure. And then pressure into your sternum, into the heart. Take a deep breath in. Oh. Adram Karne Vishunu Yama Devaha Padran Pashi Maksha Birya Jatraha Stirai Rangai Sustavagam Sastanobihi Vyashema Deva Hitayata Yuhu Svastina indro vritta shravaha. Svastina fusha vishva vedaha. Svastina starkshu aristanemihi. Svastinu bruhaspatir tadhatu. Om Shanti 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 Om Hadran Karne Vishrunuyama Deva Hadran Pashye Maksha Birya Jatraha Stirai rangai e sustuvagum sastanopihi. Vyashema deva hitayata yuhu. Svastina indro vritta shravaha. Svastina fpusha vishvavetaha. Svastina Starkshyo Aristanemihi Svastino Bruhaspatir Dadhatu Om Shanti 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 I chant once more. See if you can follow with me. Om Pat 
Drankarni Bishunuyama Deva Padran Pashe Maksha Virya Chatra Stirai Rangai Sustuvagum Sustanubi Vyashema Deva Hita Yada Yuhu Svastina Indra Vritta Shavaha Svastina Pusha Vishvaveda Svastina Starkshu Aristane Mihi Svastinu Bruhaspatir Dadhatu Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. A little quick meaning of this um, verse of Shanti Mantra is my favorite. I can't help to just feel so good after this. I really want to share this with you because it really reminds us that we are so little in this realm of existence. So when we give ourselves to deities or gods, asking them, may I hear our ears, the auspicious, only hearing the auspicious sounds. May our eyes see only auspicious sight. With our sense organs steady and body praying, may we find fulfillment through our entire lifespan attaining perfect health and vigor. So that means maybe we act in auspicious way, maybe be stable, healthy, strong. So Indra is the guardian of gods. So calling for Indra to lose the glory is praise, we're great, great praising his glory for safeguard our existence and well-being. And Pusha is another god which is the gods of meetings, unions, roads, and journeys. So may the wise Bhushan, who is all-knowing, grant us safety. And Tarksha is also the Garuda, is the circle of the protection. So um, may Tarksha, may Tarksha guide us, protect us. And Bruhaspati, we're calling also for Bruhaspati, so may Bruhaspati was the spirit of vastness in the whole universe and the respiratory and the purify and wisdom grant us well-being, peace, peace, peace. So how can you not feel good when you just call and resonate for all this, right? So peace within. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> Let's invoke a little bit more peace as is a theme for the week. Bring your hands together, rub, 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 create a little bit of heat. Keep the ujjayi sound in the back of your throat and begin to just place your hands on your face. Gently waking up softly, all those organs, your eyes, as we were asked to just see the auspicious sight. So spirit grants us this. It's just gently massage. And then go into your ears, massaging your ears. Take a deep breath in and out. All the outside of your ear loops, top of your ear. Ear lobes. Great. And then bringing your hands like this, the forehead, back and forward. Maybe we had some insightful dreams and we were waking up thinking, what did that mean? And you just go over the eyebrows like this, too much in the thinking mind. Let's just release that. Great. 
And then the, here, the junction of your hair has been just massaged into me. Temple, gentle massage. Deep breath in, deep breath out. And then bringing your hands like this, like making the eye like glasses and then bringing your hands right under your eyes gently massage upwards so elbows goes up inhale exhale inhale exhale remember eyes are connected to our digestive system releasing a lot of nice good hormones endomorphins feeling that happy feeling nice Try not to crush your cheekbones. Try to really grip, bringing your thumbs under, pulling up. So you're kind of really getting that nice face feature. See? Good. Ah, okay, now turn your head. So your ear, left ear to your left shoulder. You're gonna go massage all this area. So down. As from, from your clavicle muscles, right from right in the middle of the clavicle junction. Take all the way up. It's almost like grabbing all this area. And then we're going to go upwards. Inhale. Exhale a little bit back. Like that. Yes. Oh, I'm so tense here in the mornings. Nice. And then coming here and bringing your left arm over your face and going like this. And then stick your tongue out. Uh, yes. Inhale, come into the middle. Exhale. Feel that. And then we're going to do the other side. Right ear towards your right shoulder. Fill this whole area here. Go from the middle of your clavicle and pull up, up, up. So the other arm goes over your head. So you kind of feel englobed with your head. And then you're bringing your hands in here. Go. So you're mirroring me. <laughs> Great. It's like when I don't have in the mornings, it's great. I can come in front of my Zoom and do this. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, stick your tongue out. Okay, inhale. Feel that. So when your, your tongue is connected a lot to your neck and and whole muscles here. Sticking it out is stretching the back of your neck muscles. Bring your chin to the chest. And just go right at the junction of your occiput here in the, in the bony part in the middle of your head, the scalp of the head. Gently press your thumb upward. Elbows up. Feel the spine rising up with inhale chin to the chest exhale all the way down towards your sacrum pelvic floor one more breath inhale exhale inhale exhale release your hand and go with the shoulders, roll the shoulders up and down, inhale and exhale. Believe us, only with the right breath you can get really hot. Bringing your hands into the top of your head here. Small tapping. And then massage. So like like this, like you wanna do the bread cramp, <laughs> do it on top of your head. <laughs> yes. And come all the way side. Ah, 
Nice. And then give yourself a nice little face wash. Inhale and exhale, come all the way down towards your pelvic floor. Connecting here at the roots, connecting your sitting bones, gently drawing them towards each other, feel that connection. Synchronize your breath. Inhale equal as your exhale. Perhaps you can stretch it to the four count. Inhale, one, two, three, four to the top of your head. Exhale from the top of your head. Stay taller down to the shoulder, rib cage, navel, pelvic floor. Let's do that three more times. Inhale up to the four count. Exhale to the four count. Inhale to the four, three, two, one. Exhale, four, three, two. One now, move with a synchronous, synchronized breath. Inhale, arms up to interlace your fingers, palms facing up. Reach from the base of your spine to the crown of your head, up to the thumbs and knuckles. Look up. And exhale, round the back, hands behind your head, chin to the chest. Again, inhale, two, three. Four, this time exhale, arms forward, shoulders apart, round the back, kneeling. So you're really getting that round the back. That's it. Exhale, exhale, exhale. Inhale, hands to the heart, elbows away, lift up. Exhale, push, push, push. One more time. Inhale, knuckles to the heart, elbows away, lift the chest. Exhale. Inhale, arms up. Let's go sideways, stretch. So draw both sit bones down. Let's go to the left side, left hand on the ground, right arms over your head. Remember, you're mirroring me. Lift the heart, chest open. Lean towards the left hand. Exhale, drop the right sit bone down. Feel that whole stretch in the side leg. Now, deep breath in. Exhale. Inhale, come up. Reach your arms up, midline. Hyper stand up, look up. Exhale, flexion side rear the other way. Open the chest, open the belly. Inhale, look towards the left arm, pointing up. Exhale, look down to the right hand. So like this movement, you're releasing the neck tension. If you didn't get it with the massage. Inhale, come up. Up, 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 up. And then exhale, we're gonna rotate round the back, right hand behind the left knee, left palm behind. Inhale, just stretch tall to the ceiling. Don't twist yet, just extend tall, inhale. And then exhale, rotate. On the exhalation, you're getting the shoulder to move as far as it can, kneeling. In. Inhale, come to the midline, stretch the shoulder. Round the back. Left hand outside of the right knee, right palm down. Stay tall, extend, inhale. Exhale, rotate. Rotate, rotate, rotate. Inhale, come up. Exhale, very good. So this was a different movement of the spine, spinal movement. Now we're gonna come 
And I want you to lie on your belly. So have a little soft mat or something warm to lie on. So roll to your belly. So we're going to do a little bit of pranayama on our belly. No, so you can see me. It's getting lighter and lighter every morning. So it's great news. <laughs> Gonna come closer. So I have only one light in my studio. Sorry. <laughs> so we're gonna lie on our belly, and then just relax your face in towards your hands. If you want to bring your hands forward into your face, make yourself a little cushion. So your forehead comes to your knuckles, and we're relaxing our entire body. Relax your belly, relax your chest, relax your lower back and legs. If you want, you can either look, turn your head to the right or turn your head to the left, or just keep your head aligned with your spine. Take a deep exhale, feel what the exhalation is doing to your body. So each time you inhale, you feel that your belly button is coming towards your mat, releasing any tensions in your lower back, releasing tensions in your legs. And just gently notice when the exhalations kick in and how does that feel right at your belly? Do you feel any movement here? Perhaps you can feel that you're drawing your belly towards your spine, creating that little hollow space. I just want you to observe the few seconds here, your breath, without any effort. Notice how it goes by itself. The belly breathing is activated in this posture. And the whole body is relaxed. All the muscles are relaxed. The only muscle that is active is your diaphragm breathing muscle. They are never relaxed. Those are the muscles that are running your system all the time. So let's take a moment to appreciate our diaphragm muscles functioning. Thank God without us deciding anything. And softly inhale, bring your hands around. And this time, we're going we're gonna to put a little bit of effort in the hands, right at the chest area. Draw your fingers away from you. So imagine that you're stretching the tissue of your mat. Elbows towards to your heels. Lift the heart. Inhale. Exhale, come back down. Let's do that a few more times. Very soft and gentle movement with the breath. Open, inhale. To the cobra, exhale. Little cobra, a little opening. Shoulder girdles away from your ears. Draw your shoulders towards to your lower spine. Lifting the heart, lifting the lungs, open and breathing. Breathe out, relax. Two more. Inhale. 
Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Notice what happens here with just movement of breathing and opening. I feel that my intestines and my stomach starts to gargle. And this is exactly what we do. We're actually helping our digestive system through our opening the lungs. So let's just do go right hand behind. So left elbow in front, so you lifting the chest. So you can breathe into your posture of uh, cobra. Right hand goes, grabs your right ankle. Let's see gently if you can bring your heel towards to your sit bone. Keep your knee aligned with the hip. Don't go too much open. Just a gentle stretch from your quads here. Maybe lifting the right shoulder up to the ceiling. Keep your shoulders um, in the same alignment forward. Look forward and breathe. Creating a little bit of space, not only in the front of the chest, but also right arm. And then release, exhale, change side, right elbow forward. Relax your belly, lift the left knee up, grab your left heel, inhale, stretch the left squat by bringing your heel as close as you can towards your sit bone. Keep your shoulders aligned, inhale, look forward, exhale. Navel draws in towards the lower back. And release. Now you got it. Bring your both hands, grab your heels if you can. Draw your heels away from you. Keep squeezing your sit bone towards each other. Navel in, exhale, and then inhale, lift the heart. So you're kicking your arms away, lifting the chest. The bow pose is an excellent pose to open the heart, open the chest, strengthen the legs, stretch those back muscles. It's also strengthening your lower back. Two more breaths. And release, exhale. Come back into your Matkasana crocodile pose. Lie on the belly. Take a few more breaths. And then tuck your toes under, hands to the floor. Inhale, reach up to the up dog from your toes. Lifting the heart, look up. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Wow, you might feel your lower back. It's absolutely normal. Walk on the spot. Relax your head, yes and no. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. One more breath in, exhale, walk on the class. So hands sitting where they are, feet coming towards your head in here. Keep your heels together, exhale, coming into your position of almost like a frog. This time your heels are together, touching the ball of your foot together, touching, let's just hold this pain. Remember invoking the peace. You can only feel peaceful by just connecting to what there is already. So maybe you can give yourself an intention and a mantra today. Whatever mantra brings you peace. You can just repeat peace, peace, peace. Or you can maybe say, I am perfectly where I need to be. Like that, you're already in the acceptance of whatever rises up. 
nothing is gonna shake that energy. Take a deep breath in, deep breath out. Or maybe you can just close your eyes and visualize yourself in your peaceful um, place on earth. Where do you find peace? I really love water, so at the seaside, I feel really peaceful. Maybe top of a mountain. Maybe at the forest, forest bathing, that gives you peace, whatever connecting you to. That feeling and vibration within, bring it in, inhale. Exhale, release, come back into the seated. Maybe just go tap it a little bit in your lower back, your kidney. And hands to the heart. So this is a mudra of invoking peace. This is a peace prayer we do every time to do the prayer. You're bringing your hands into the heart space because the heart already knows the intelligence of your intellectual mind maybe is taking control and then you lose this space. So coming here, again, allowing the intelligence of your heart lead you. Take a deep breath. Deep breath out. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. One more. bundle of joy and peace, and I only attract peace today. Stay that few times in your mind, and then you go by your whole day. I wish you only peace today.